Right, we've got to reach the junction point now. Up there, up there, down there. That's the horseshoe route where we join up with the road to take me back to the Ship and Cheddar Road and down to Winscombe. I've just come out of that one down by the valley. That leads you higher up into the Warren, in and out of the big tall trees. And this one is taking us to Tynings Farm. This is the um, stable farm. I wonder if this looks like there could be a little path we can avoid all this mud. Because don't forget the sorts of horses um, come through. So walkers quite often do diversions like this. I've seen it worse than this, by the way. I've seen it a lot worse than this. So, we've passed Tynion's Farm lots of times when we come off the area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. We come down that really bumpy, humpy road, which is so painful on the feet, where the horses come down with the great views over. Um, so we do pass it a lot, but this is a different way past. And usually about this time of year, the swallows, I mean, they might have all gone by now, but when I came past here, the last time I came past here this way, the swallows were whizzing around, gathering on the farm buildings, getting ready to go off to South Africa. There we go, look. God, that's a creepy old tree up there, isn't it? That's a real hobbit tree, isn't it? Real Lord of the Rings, that is. And you. Thank God you are spooky, you lot. So that's going to be up there. I just need to take a picture of these trees a minute because they're so spooky. Okay, over and out a minute. Right, so... Leaving the cottage. Like I said, these telegraph, telephone wires were absolutely covered with swallows when I came here a couple of years back at this time of year. But I think someone said they'd all gone. They just came home one day and the whole lot had gone. And... Um, And some people feel sad when they go, but they know they're coming back in the spring. And they know when they get to South Africa, they'll be welcomed by the people who've got spring now over there. Or, or, or will have. We won't video a great deal, folks, going back across the fields to Piney Slights. I'll probably do photos, but uh, everybody knows that route by now. But of course, if you're new, you won't. It is a farm, the last farm before I get head down to Cheddar. I talk about it and mention it all the time. And there's the views coming in. There's the views starting to come in now. Sorry if I'm saying a bit, I still feel a bit sick. Uh, I got a horrible taste, I'm just like poisoned. I feel like I've been poisoned. It's not very nice, to tell the truth. That's a good view of the trees from here. Really good view. They're magical. There's something special about those trees. It's almost as if all the trees 
each tree is a person. They do that, you know, with poles and flags and trees. They're planted for people. And that's what they remind me of. Perhaps all the old miners of the past or something. This is the stables. Oh. Oh, sun's coming out. Sun's coming out. Oh, the hair horsey. These are all the stables where the horses are. Right over there you can see Steep Home. Right in the distance. Look. See it? Over there. Well, we're coming up onto the road now, and then we're just walking back. Oh. That's a German Shepherd, I hope he's tied up. Oh. And there's the bridle path that I come down usually. I don't come through that way very often, it's quite rare really. And I probably won't now for a while, it could be two years again, unless I do it in reverse of course. That is another thing I do. If I want to get into the Warren quick, I might do that way, rather than go up there. Oh. oh, he's doing his guard duty. Yeah, good boy, aren't you? Yeah, I know. Oh, bye bye. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you, puppy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. A little bark. Yeah, bye bye. So that's Tinyan's farm. He stopped barking as I spoke to him. He only had a little bark. Very small bark for a German Shepherd. It must be a girl dog. Right then, this is the road. This is the road that I was on, but not all the way up here. I joined over that way somewhere. I can actually see the field that I passed. I passed the camping field. Mendip Camp, I think they called it. And if you look, see, there are a few people camping. That's what I want to do. There's probably ways out of there as well. Yeah. Last bit of camping. And across over there we've got the lovely views 
lovely views. Let me take a picture. Right everyone. Past the farm back there. All the um, batteries are totally flat this time. Find you, um, the trees over there, Robert Warren. I can't see the cows. I thought I heard a moo. There wasn't. Two cows had been kept in with this herd for a while and they were going from one field to another quite freely. Yeah, so some. It's been a good day for me, really, weather wise, because I didn't want it too hot today because I was feeling a bit funny, but. I'm all right at the moment. It seems to come and go. Um, I was all right all morning. What happened? I had a banana and a bar of chocolate just before I got to the top of um, the hill fort, Robo Hill Fort. And then when I got up there, I suddenly felt really ill. Um, I really didn't feel very well at all. And that went on for about an hour and a half, feeling rough, um, but not all the time. Sometimes, sometimes I felt all right. You listening to me, sheepies? Sometimes I did feel all right. Uh, and I'm all right at the moment. I'm feeling all right at the moment, but I've not ate anything. The only thing I'm eating are a couple of sweets just to give me a bit of energy. I haven't touched anything I normally eat. Uh, I've still got all my oranges. I've still got my cheese and tomato, my crisps, and my yogurt bar. So I've, I've kept all that. So I've, I've not eaten any of it. And, and um, I might do. You never know when I'm on the bus. Because I've got a bus journey as well, don't forget. This isn't the end. There's no walk in the park when you come out with me, folks. This is a proper hike. Okay, you might do it quicker than me, you fit people. I would have done it quicker when I was younger. I'm not making excuses and I'm not having to defend myself about it. I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is keeping an eye out in case there's a cows turn up in a minute. Now all the sheep are white in here, and then you've got one there. Look at him, he's a funny colour, isn't he? He's the only one like that, with a dark coat and a white head. He's the only one. Now once I saw a white lamb, and he had three white legs and one black one. I'd never seen that before either. I mean, those cows could be right up in the corner in a minute. Could be. There's somebody coming through. There's a runner. There's a runner coming. Could be that bloke. That bloke I saw. There was a bloke sat down. I don't know what colour clothes he had on now. I can't remember. But, um... I don't know if it's him or not. Might be. Who knows? So, I mean, I've watched this field when it's been harvested. They've had these special combine harvesters in there. And the balers. It's amazing what they do it. There's the aerials up there, look. There's the aerials. Of course, I was just saying we'll start coming out. Actually, I can see a farmer doing some bailing in the next field. We'll soon be coming out with scarves, hats and all, all that on, won't we? What's going on there? What's that 
and oh, there's a pack of people walking along. <laughs> 